Okay, guys, we came out here to check on our plants. And remember the other night that our little guy ate and we did a whole video? The Drunken Love Venus Flytrap video? I don't know if you guys saw it. If not, go to my page and watch. It's funny. But anyway, that's the night that he ate this guy. And all we could see was the shadow in, the, in there. And we were like, oh my gosh, he ate. What was it? Oh my gosh. So here it is. It looks like some kind of flying bug. Kind of looks like a, a penis. <laughs> Look, Joe, what do you think that is? It's, uh, it's one of those little nighttime guys that you find going around. Gosh, I can't believe it. It closed on him and he couldn't get out. That's a pretty strong trap, huh? That was a brand new trap, too. He had never eaten before. So he's happy. That's pretty cool, right guys? This guy's so happy. Look how green that trap is finally done. That's the first time when when we got him and you guys saw him eat the first time. This is the trap that the that the fly was caught in. The video where we see them see him catch the fly. That's the trap it was in. So this guy's been opened a few times. He's uh probably doesn't work anymore. Spent, it's called. I try not to put them in the sun anymore right now because it's so hot. Even when I put them out for the early morning sun, it's like browning them, see? So I'm just keeping them on my balcony for right now in the shade, but at least it's getting some indirect light. But I'm afraid it's too hot for sun right now. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens if these guys start looking sad. I'll have to put them in the sun in the mornings, but I just wish this hot summer would end so we could all get back to our normal lives. Anyways, at least we know we got a healthy trap here. He's eating on his own, and I'm proud. And have a beautiful day.